Hey there, it's Mike here. Welcome to my show. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a video called This Isn't Fun, But It Makes Me $2,000 an Hour. Uh, this is from a guy named Alex Becker. Alex, I've known him for many years now. He actually used to be in the internet marketing space uh, selling software. He, I think he did some training, but he mostly does software. He's got an email marketing platform. He makes a lot of money. He's very, very successful. He's got over a million uh, subscribers on YouTube. You might have even even heard of him if you're watching this video. Now, he's got this one that came out in 2020 and it's called, This Isn't Fun, But It Makes Me $2,000 an Hour. He's got 150,000 likes on this and only 6,000 dislikes, which means that some people didn't like it, but most people uh, like this video. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna give it a like here, find out what this is all about. If you guys can go ahead and like this video as well, it really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it and smash that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna say this in a monotone voice because it sounds super hypey, but if you just do what I lay out in this video, you will be successful. This is the number one reason why people are not successful. If you've ever watched Alex's videos, it's very interesting. He's very much just like, if you wanna watch me, watch me. If you don't wanna watch me, don't watch me. He does like not even looking at the camera, just looking off to the side here. Uh, he's got that really cool view in the background. Uh, very interesting personality. I don't know how much his personality matches how he is in real life, uh, but it's a very interesting internet personality. Now look, you guys always come to this channel. You say, Alex, my God, you are good looking. You have a fantastic body. He always says that, like, you're good looking. I'm good looking. I have a fantastic body. It's a really interesting persona. It's like an alpha male persona. I, I would be very surprised if he's like that in real life. You are also a billionaire and there's no YouTuber on earth who is more successful than you. How do I possibly get as woke as you? The answer to that, one, eat mamba meat, which I'm sure you can't afford. It's okay, don't worry about it. Because you can go to number two, which is next time you die and re-roll, ask God to be nicer to you. Ask him to give you big brains like me. Ask him to make you family friendly <laughs> so people enjoy your presence. I don't, I'm not, I'm, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I'm just gonna lay this out for you guys. I have all these entrepreneur friends and I think they're stupider than normal people, to be honest. I think successful people, that you become dumber as you get more successful. It's really funny that he says that because I know a lot of internet marketing people that before I got started, I would see people putting out training programs and software and I would be like, oh, these they must be really, really smart if they're doing this. They must really ha have everything together. And I, once I started talking to them, a lot of these people are just clueless when it comes to even simple things online. Don't be fooled. Don't think that just because the people are successful that they know more than you do. They just maybe have gotten a little bit lucky and taken action. And they always debate why people aren't successful. Usually when you get into like this lower level of entrepreneur, it's like people don't want enough. They don't want to hustle. They don't want to hustle. It's just a game. I hate that, that whole hustle thing. Gary B video for 15 minutes. And it's just not true. If you're watching this video, I think you probably want to be successful. Like you probably want it really bad and it probably irks you in the back of your head if you're not successful. And if you are successful, you probably want to be more successful. I don't think there's a lack of want uh, for financial success in this world. I think there is a lack of understanding how to operate as a human being to reach a form of success. And if you follow what I'm gonna do in this video, this is, this is just how you do it, okay? So look, it's very, very simple. There's three reasons. There's actually three layers. Okay, I think my face is gonna cover up his face now, but you can still see the main presentation. And almost nobody has these three layers down. The people that do have this down are super duper successful. The people that sort of have this down are really successful. People that don't have this down are just not successful. So the first layer of this is poor time management. Now look, this is not gonna be a, a management like how to or Time management has been one of the biggest things for me that I've been trying to work on. Uh, I've got two kids and I don't know if you've got kids and you're watching this, you know it could be a real big, uh, I don't wanna say it's a drain on my time because it's not but it takes a lot of time because I want to put my, a lot of time into that. So if you've got kids or if you've got a job, then of course you've got to really manage your time wisely and be careful with who you give your time to. That's really important as well. Everyone will want your time. Be careful who you give it to. Organize your sock drawer kind of video. This is the problem. So most people, when they're trying to be successful, they have, let's just say 14 hours in a day, actually 16. And that's if you sleep a perfect eight hours, which I don't. I usually sleep like six hours a night. Anyways, about eight of these hours is going to be taken up with their job, okay? Which also resembles a butt, if you look closely enough. A butt with an eight tattoo on it. So here's the problem. He's got a good sense of humor. Uh, if you watch his videos, you'll realize he 
He's a funny guy. People cannot use these other eight hours to create enough success to then roll these eight hours into this actually being their job. Let me explain this. So when you're building a business, obviously, if you have more time to work on it, or if you're doing anything and you want to be successful in life, I'm just going to talk about financial success in this video. You need to put in a lot of time into it. And the problem is a lot of people don't have a lot of time, or at least they don't think they do because they're working a job. They have to put eight to 10 hours into something else. And so the main reason why a lot of people get hamstrung initially is because they don't know how to spend these other eight hours and they don't know how to sacrifice these eight hours. I mean, if you look at that there, that's a lot of time. If you, I mean, if you guys, if you're sleeping eight hours and you are up 16 hours and you're working a job, which I know a lot of people watching this are, if you're working, like working on an eight hour job, that's a lot of time that's left over there. In order to make it so they can get to the point where their eight hours of work per day can actually put towards something that they own or something that actually brings them any type of financial wealth. Well, the best tip I could ever give you first and foremost, find a job where you can work in the back room on your business while your boss isn't watching. That's, that's the best tip ever. But if you can't, I, when I worked at Georgetown university, I hope, my, that. I hope my boss isn't watching. Uh, I used to work on a side business as well. I mean, I, I get my work done, but at the same time, I would just be like, if I had time during my lunch or if I just wasn't like, I had a little bit extra time, I would work on my business and it was fine. Cause I got my work done, but I also was able to work for myself as well. You need to ensure that the time that you have outside of work has absolutely no distractions. You have to have excellent time management. And what time management really is, is not planning out your day. It's removing all the stupid stuff that distracts you. So here's some good tips that have made me much more successful. Just move. It's just, just move. If you move to a place where you have no friends, no family, no distractions, all you're going to have during this eight hours is to work on something. When I first got uh, married or yeah, back in 2013, I moved away from like the party area and where my friends were. And that's when my business started to, to do well because I didn't have any like chance to go outside. I was far away from everyone and I just worked on my business. And that's completely true. I, I agree with, with Becker. Next, get rid of social media, television, and hobbies. You can have them back in the future. However, during this time period right here, what these things are going to do is it's going to drag you away and pull you into things that don't allow. Netflix takes a lot of my time. I don't, maybe it takes yours too. How are you to move this eight hours into this eight hours? You basically need to make it so when you get off work, you have absolutely nothing to do except work in a business. You have no TV, you have no friends, you have no hobbies. This is, is this the definition of a happy life? Well, is the definition of the life you have right now happy? You want to change it? Well, you're probably going to have to do something you don't want to do to, to get to that point. So yes, this sucks. You're just going to have to be a little bit of suck. So this is the first layer of why I don't think most people ever reach any success is because they get off work and they have like their girlfriend screaming at them. They watch a movie. They play a little bit of video games and they just have video games that took, that still takes a lot of my time. It's one of those guilty pleasures that I love. But I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be that guilty about it. I still make decent money online. So I, I can play video games once in a while, but when I got started, uh, definitely it's good that I didn't have a PlayStation in my house. These chunks of time, super distracted. And so they don't maximize the time that they have. When I was building my first business, when I got off work, I would be working on the weekends on it. I didn't have much of a social life. And when I got home from work, I'd usually put in about an hour and a half to two hours, which then brings us to the second layer. The second layer of this is very simple consistency. You need to be able to consistency is so important. When I was doing interviews and I did over a thousand interviews, uh, I would feel bad if I didn't publish one, at least one a day. And I just was on that. I had that chain going where every day I had to publish an interview. I actually apologized to my audience when I got married because I was only able to publish like three videos that week. I felt bad about it. Even though I was getting married, I still felt bad. Put in one to two hours a day, every single day, like clockwork. It doesn't take four to five hours. It doesn't take eight hours a day. It takes a good one hour to two hours every single day of focused work, which brings us to the third layer, which is where I think everybody gets locked down. What do I mean by focused work? So when most people, they have their eight hours a day, they have their butt crack of time. Okay. And so during this time period right here, you got two to four hours a day where you can just really work on whatever you're going to do. You can learn, or whatever. What happens during this time period is let's imagine this is your time period block right here. People don't know how to sit down and do something for two to four hours. 
So for example, you're going to start to work on something and you're going to check social media. And then, That's the worst. Turn that off. And you're going to start to work on something and you're going to check your phone. And then you're going to start to work on something and then you're going to go be like, oh crap, my laundry is not done. And then you're going to go and I don't know, eat like a pizza roll and make yourself all slow and lethargic. And so what happens that I see so many people do is when they sit down to work, they really only get about 15 minutes of work done. Here's the thing you also need to know about maximizing your time. The way the time works is it's going to take you about 15 minutes to get into a flow. It takes me a while to get into a flow as well. I'll wake up early in the morning. I'll wake up at seven and get on my computer and I've, now check the clock. It's almost like 745. I haven't done anything yet because I'm still like getting into it. It takes me a while to kind of wake up and get going. It, like 15 minutes. De definitely. It takes me that to like get into that flow. And then I get interrupted and I have to start all over again. And so when you're putting in about 15 minutes of work, you're not really going to start to get a lot done. Think about the last time you played a video game. Think about the last time you got really focused on something. What usually happens is that first 15 minutes is you're kind of finding your balance and your brain's getting in tune. And then at that 15 minutes, your work output skyrockets and then it stays at this level. Some people say it takes like an hour to get to this point and it grows up or like this. This is pretty much all you need to understand. And so what happens is people are constantly getting distracted, checking a social media post, checking their phone, eating a hot pocket. And what happens is you never get into the state of work right here. And if you don't hit the state of work and stay in it for those two hours, you're really not using the time efficiently. And if you're constantly going out of this, again, that's why I see you only get like 15 minutes of actual work done because you're so inefficient with this time. A really good book on this is called Deep, I don't know why I drew a B, Deep Work, okay? So D-W. I. I haven't read that, but I'm going to make a note. And so when I said one to two hours of work, most people who work for four hours get about 15 minutes of work done. It's, it's biblically biblical. What you need to do, especially if you don't have four hours of time, is you need to learn how to sit down in a room and not do anything else. So how do you do this? Well, that's hard to do. And it's, I, I really think that you need to turn off everything else if you want to get that done. Just get rid of everything in your house. For example, I live in a house without any furniture or distractions. There's nothing for me to do. He really doesn't have any furniture or anything in his house, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, he's also, I don't, I don't think maybe, I mean, might've changed, but I don't think he's married either. So it'd be hard for me to convince my wife to get rid of all of our furniture. There's, there's nothing for me to do in this room that I'm in except pick my nose. And so what, this is, what does this allow me to do? Well, when I sit down, there's just, that's what I'm doing. And then I make 100% sure not to be on social media because that's just going to ruin your life and your mind. If you can do this, what's going to happen is first off, one, your time is managed. So you have a solid one to four hour chunk every single day. Key word, every single day, consistency. Then finally, during those periods, you actually get one to four hours worth of work done. And try to do it at the same exact time every single day so you have a routine. And then the final part of this, the final part of this is you need to put it into one thing. That's the hard thing. A lot of people, they'll go and they'll like try Amazon marketing, then they'll try affiliate marketing, then they'll try YouTube, and they'll see someone talking about Facebook ads. That's when you get nothing done because you're just like, maybe you're working every day on it, but you're working on different things and nothing ever happens from that. See, the way success works is like this. When you put all your, your coconuts into multiple things, you don't get results because success is a exponential line. And until you get to about 90% effort, you don't start seeing returns, or at least you don't see the returns you should. See, you're going to see very poor look returns. And then suddenly when you get to about 90%, 95% focus, that's when something explodes. Essentially what I just showed you before is how to maximize the amount of points reward you get for your time. That's it's kind of like a game. It's really all it is. Most people don't get rewarded for their time because they don't know how to manage it. They don't know how to consistently do it. And when they do have the time, they don't get any output from the time. It's like you have an engine where you put in a bunch of gasoline, you put in a gallon of gasoline, and you can only use 10% of it. You can never actually go very far with that engine. When you fix that though, all you need to make sure is that you stay on one road because what most beginners do and what most people do is they don't stick to one road. And so what happens is they stick in this layer. And with that combination of poor time management, what then happens is they never ever get to this point where it goes, Poof. this is why so few people are successful. It's, it's not because they don't want it. It's not because people are stupid and only a, a certain a smart few are able to be successful. No, that's just what arrogant idiots tell everyone. It's not. What it is, is people don't get to this breakthrough point right here. And the only way to get to that breakthrough point when you have limited time is to maximize that time 
and then put all that time in the one thing. That's the only way forward. A lot of people, they also want immediate results too. So like, uh, for example, right now I'm working on this YouTube channel and I just started it up again and I'm looking and I'm not getting a lot of views on my first videos, but uh, I'm planning on when I look back in 30 days from now, after I've done a video for every single day and I'm just consistent with it, I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna be getting more views on those videos than on this one. So consistency is so important. And so it's this vicious cycle that most normal people get locked into. And by normal, I don't mean like people who are not as woke as I am. That's a joke that I make at the beginning of the video. It's people that are stuck in a typical life situation and that typical life situation moves you in a vicious cycle in the wrong way unless you really make an effort to put a block in it and start pushing it in the right way. And then what happens when you maximize your time and laser focus it is that flywheel starts to spin the opposite direction for you. And it doesn't really start spinning fast until you get to that point where you can actually quit what you're doing and focus full time on, let's say your business or whatever you want to be successful at. Maybe you want to be a professional smash player and make $10,000 a year working full time playing super smash bros. That seems to be working for a lot of people. Anyways, until you can actually put in the eight to 10 hours a day, you're not going to see those tremendous results. You could probably see about five to $10,000 a month in results. I'm talking like hundred thousand a month, big success. And I think honestly, eight to 10,000 a month would be good for most people. But once you get this, it's funny, he's, I know that he makes a lot of money. Probably he forgets that what, what's big and what, what isn't big. Like sometimes it's, it's funny. I've, I've had months where I've made like almost a hundred thousand. I've had months where I've made 3000, but it's interesting to see, like you kind of forget, like once you start making money and uh, you kind of first start forgetting what's normal. And I'm sure what's normal for him is not normal for most of us. At this point, if you can apply what I just said right there, that's when you start seeing the, you know, fart noise sound effects results that I'm talking about. So that's it guys. Uh, I, I just think people don't understand this lesson. They don't understand how to use their time correctly. And if you can do that, you're going to be successful. Even if you're an idiot, I'm an idiot. I'm pretty successful. So you can do it too. So what do you guys think of this? Did you enjoy this video? Do you agree with Alex uh, with his concepts here on consistency and time management? Uh, is, is that something that's been pulling you back and holding you back? Uh, how, how do you work uh, the best when you're working on your business? I'm really curious about that. Uh, of course, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like it as it really does help out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Also, up here somewhere, I'll have a video where you can check out my, my recent video where I reacted to a video by Graham Stephan on how he's making uh, over $100 a day with uh, dividend stocks. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and click there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks.